Hello, I'm Scott Jeske with, with iConnectivity and I'm here to show you our iConnect Audio 2 Plus interface here at the 2016 NAMM show. So this audio interface here has two mic microphone inputs in the front as well as these inputs can take guitar signals and line inputs. You can enable phantom power on these inputs as well as well as change the impedance from low impedance to high impedance. So that's done here using this touchpad. So for example, if I want to change the 48 volt phantom power, I would just, I touch a pad here, and these pads up here will light up, indicating which ones have phantom power, and I just touch them to, to change them. If I want to change input gain, I just touch the, the in button here, and then I can select which channels I want, and then using this encoder here, I just adjust and uh, change the input levels. You can also adjust the output levels for the outputs. There are six outputs on here, four line outputs, and one set of headphones that you would adjust here. Now I'll turn this around and look at the back. And on the back side, here we have the power input. So at this point, this is where you would attach the optional power adapter. This power adapter is not included in the box with this unit because this audio interface can be bus powered. So if you want to bus power it, you would connect your computer to this jack here. And this will provide power. Also, this is the audio and MIDI connectivity to your computer. Something that's unique about our audio interface is that we have the ability to connect two computing devices, or sorry, computing hosts at the same time. So you can have one computer here, and over here you can have a second computer. So this could be a Mac or a PC, or you can also have an iPad plugged in here. So that would allow you to send audio and MIDI data digitally between two computers or between a computer and an iPad. The power adapter here, if you get the optional power adapter, this will supply power to your iPad here, so we will actually charge up your iPad. Moving down the line here, we see there are a couple of DIN inputs, so these are your standard 5-pin MIDI DIN. And here are the outputs. These are balanced outs, so they're tip ring sleeve connections for four outputs plus the headphones. And as I said before, these, these, the headphone output is a unique mix. So it, it's not the same as what's going in three or four or one and two. Uh, it can be if you choose to, but it doesn't have to be. You can have a, a different signal going to your headphones rather than the other four. So this is a two in, six out audio interface. Now, if you want to configure this thing, how would you do that? Well, we have an application. So if we move in here and, and maybe look at the PC, for, or sorry, the Mac, we could see this app, our application running on here. So as an example, we have an audio patch bay here that allows us to see what's connected to what. So for example, the USB one, this is where our Mac is connected. We have a mixer that can go to the Mac. We have the USB two, this is where the iPad is connected, a mixer for there, and plus the analog inputs. And, and an output from an analog mixer. And then along the side here, we see the mixer, uh, mixer inputs plus the inputs going to the Mac, the inputs going to the iPad, the iPad mixer, and the analog mixer. So using this patch B, I can configure where all the audio signals are going through the system between the Mac, the iPad, and the, uh, the analog section. Then, then as well, we have a mixer page. So in this mixer page here, you can see where how I can set the levels for the different mixes. So in the box, uh, we do this mixing. So this allows you to set this up, you know, go to your gig, for example, and and uh, you could just save this. So when you power up the unit, it'll just it'll just recall these settings. So you don't have to reconfigure it every time you use the Mac, or sorry, every time you use the box, you don't have to reconfigure it. You could just power it up, and it'll remember your settings. And if you need to adjust them, of course, you can do that just from the front panel. So this unit now, this is the iConnect Audio 2 Plus. It, it will be available very soon, quarter one in 2016. And the, uh, the street price is 199 US dollars.